All right, this is going to be a quick video about the difference between kerning, tracking, and horizontal scale in Affinity Design in particular. Uh, let's start with kerning. Kerning is the difference between two individual characters, and only two. You cannot set the kerning for an entire word. As you see here, there's only 0% and auto, but I can't do any of these particular things. And that is because kerning only applies between the distance between two individual characters. Now, if I select, if I go with a cursor between two letters and I want to bring them closer together, I can do, go here and kind of minus 50, right? Uh, if that is not enough, I can also go and say, let's make it minus 150, right? And it brings them even closer together. And another way of bringing them even closer together is on the Mac to click to hold option and then click the left arrow and on Windows that should be the Alt key and left arrow and if I want to bring them further apart I do again option and the right arrow and this is kind of nice if you wanna if you wanna adjust the design and makes it very easy to kind of go around with it right and then I can can move the cursor here and I can do same thing again bring them further apart bring them closer together and again, I'm doing this now with Option and the left key. And I can do the same thing here, do the same thing here, do the same thing here, and the same thing here. All right, so that's kerning. Only applies to two individual letters. And we can even do something like this, right? Um, and if I then look at it, I'm like, ah, actually, uh, I don't like this. I can select all and I can go here to auto or zero and basically resets it all, right? Tracking applies to the space between all of the characters. So here, if I do now minus 50, it actually changes and I can change it here for all of the characters, right? So plus 50, minus 50. And again, I can also here, I can do uh, minus 200 and it turns it into this right and again I can reset it to zero uh, and then horizontal scale is this one and what this does is it stretches it horizontally both the space between the letters and the letters themselves so this is a hundred percent and now I can do 200 percent and then it even exceeds here, but you see it not only increases the space between the letters, but also the letters themselves. Let's go back to 100%, and I can also say 50%, right? And now because that word is selected, it only does the word, so I can select all the words that I want and then do again 50, and then it does that. I can even do something ridiculous like 10%, and now, it looks like this, but let's go back to 100% horizontal scale. And uh, that's kerning, tracking, and horizontal scale in Affinity Designer. I hope this was useful to someone. I just learned this, and I thought uh, maybe someone else <laughs> is at the same level.